So Dr. Scott, in the previous video, we talked about how customizing resumes is important. So the student or job applicant applied and they will get an email saying, thank you very much. We'll actually do a phone interview. And maybe after the phone interview, they would say, thank you very much. Now we want to, to bring you in person or via Zoom to do an interview. So in your experience, uh, what tips do you have for students, new immigrants, international students, or even with people between moving jobs nowadays, how they can prepare for an interview? And is there a major difference between a phone interview and in-person interview? Well, let's, let's start with preparation. Mm -hmm. um, without the preparation, take the rest of the week off. You really need to do your homework. You need yeah. to do your due diligence. I'll, I'll give you a couple of tips on that. that mm -hmm. how, how are you going to differentiate yourself from your competition? You're in a competitive situation. Yes. Average application, 300 plus, which, by right. the way, I actually tell my students, you want at least two internships, get an internship because it's going to be easier to get a job from that internship over 50% right. of you do than it is from just an outside job application. Yes. What is going to differentiate you is your preparation and your skills and your knowledge from that preparation. I'll give, I'll give a couple of tips with that. One thing that besides going to the website, you know, doing doing the Google searches and trying to find back information, uh, in the US, we've got something called Edgar, which is sponsored by the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. Just do a Google search on Edgar, E-G-G-A-R, and you see the SEC site. You have access now to the 10K or the annual report of every publicly traded company in the US in one source. Uh -huh. So if you are applying for a publicly traded company, and if you're international, often you will be, you're, you'll be in much better shape if you, A, read that cover to cover, B, do some analysis. And okay, I'm yeah. an accountant, but even, even the, you know, my basic financial accounting course. Yeah, that's important. One. Oh, your profits went up 20% last year and your sales only went up 10%. How, how did you do that? That's pretty good. Yeah. That's going to tell the employer, um, you're actually talking numbers with me. <laughs> you're actually, you actually did some research. Yeah. You found what you're doing. Or you could say, you know, whatever other area, because if you read the 10K cover to cover, you're going to learn about the industry. You're going to learn right. about the company. Even if they're not publicly traded, go to a competitor. Take a look at there, because they can use the terminology associated with the industry. Yes. If you can interject that in a conversation. All of a sudden, you know more than the next guy. Yeah. And that's powerful when you when you are in an interview situation. Mm -hmm. um, is it different to prepare on a Zoom call than it is a live interview? Yeah. yeah it, is. it is. I mean, you need the lighting, you need the sound, you need to test your, I mean, by now everybody's Zooming. We're, yes. we, we should have this down. But, yeah. I, the, you know, if you have to use the words, you're on mute one more time, I mean, we're, we're, that, that's still being said daily. Um, so get practice. And get yeah. along but when you do when you do a live interview you come in and whether live or in or zoom you have questions ready at the, at the mark all right you've got a pen right there you're taking notes you've added things you're using linkedin you're connecting you're networking mm -hmm. over 80 percent of jobs are found through networking so oh, sure, yeah. if you actually have been in touch with two or three people from the company you're interviewing maybe you're not directly interviewing for that department sure. yeah you're you've got a foot in the door not that you should be name dropping, but it doesn't hurt sometimes. Yeah. But you also can get the inside scoop saying, you know what? I can we talk for chat for 15 minutes? I love what you guys do. I love what you've been doing. I want to find yeah. out more about your background and how you got to where you are. Yeah. I'm not asking for a job. I'm not asking for a reference. I'm just asking you for a chat, the informational interview. Yeah. Once you have that under your belt, you now have more questions you can ask. Mm -hmm. Remember, interview is a dialogue. You should be not, they're not just interviewing you, you're interviewing them. Or it's a communication. It's a communication. And you're not just selling yourself, they're selling you too. Because if they're going to offer you the job and you get three other job offers, they're going to want you to take theirs. Yeah. And you, I mean, that's a good a good, good challenge to have, by the way. For sure. Yeah. And again, I, I, I always tell my students, you know, follow the company, maybe interact with their content on LinkedIn, uh, identify 10 companies that you want to work, find someone that's working there, build a relationship. And then when, when the opportunity comes, you can tell them, hey, by the way, you guys are hiring. Can you tell me about the company culture? Or can you tell me who's the hiring manager? Can you tell me more insight? And then that will really help. And that's what I tell my students to do from the beginning before even they're applying for a job. 
great advice. And you're going to get the question, why do you want to work here? Yeah. Because I need a job is not a good answer. No, no. So thank, again, thank you for those great tips, Doctor. And again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for my other question with Dr. Scott. Thank you.